so 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 Good morning, good morning. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin. So I already said a little something about what happened yesterday. The kids were supposed to arrive last night and when they went to the counter in Paris, um, first of all, the United States allowed them to board the plane to Paris, which is where they were going to catch their connecting flight. And when they got to Paris, and they were about to board their next flight to South Africa. Uh, they told them that my son could not uh, get in because he was um, because he was a minor and he didn't have documents like a birth certificate and uh, uh, what else? Uh, an affidavit from us as his parents uh, to board the plane, and so. Basically, Luke called and said, Mom, we have a huge problem. So we were basically just eating lunch at Mug and Bean in Waterfront, and we weren't even done paying. I had to get up and call and figure out what was going on. So the worst thing was that the people from didn't even France want to speak to us as his parents didn't even want to speak to us and i was so, basically just like so frantic because um I'm, I'm thinking to myself okay this is a nightmare i did not anticipate because luke is 17 years old so the assumption was that you know um he's old enough and he can speak for himself he's with his sister who's an adult and of course uh we were already here in south africa so they didn't even want to hear that you're getting ready to put them back to the united states which would have been a, an absolute disaster because we are here we already made plans paid flights uh activities everything for all of us and so now uh, so we, uh, so I went to the customer service. The guy over front, there, I can't remember his name. Hopefully, I'll see him before I leave. Uh, he was very nice. He made all the phone calls for us. He called uh, Delta, who uh, they could. I mean, the customer service, the first person that I spoke to, I couldn't he hear her at all, and no effort was made to call me back or whatever. So. I called back the second time. Fortunately, I got somebody, and that person said there was nothing they could do. South African government will not allow him to get into the country, and they will be fined, I think, $25,000 if they do allow him on the flight. So now I'm thinking to myself, so I called the U.S. consulate, and they were closed, of course, because, um, because it's a holiday in South Africa. So... I, um, I, I called and I got the security guard and the security guard said, no, they are closed, but I can see if I can put you through to the uh, person who works there. So she's an American. And so I explained to her, it took, I don't know what, an hour with me uh, on the phone with her trying to convince her to do something, anything, put something in the system, let anyone know who has an authority to authorize my son or to at least check my documents. Uh, the lady was frustrated with me because I was frustrated. And I then she um, called me back. She was nice enough to call me back after I, uh, I, I tried to conduct Delta again and talk to the airport. So we drove to the airport, got there, and we went to one of the desks there. And I mean, actually we went around many places looking for F France and we finally got their ticket. They don't even have their own, you know, like uh, uh, ticketing desk. They have a, like where they work so with other companies. So this person sent us to the offices. And so we finally, uh, actually no, before, while we were at that desk, there was a guy, and uh, because we can speak closer, there was a guy who speak closer, and he was, his name is Richard. He was absolutely the beginning of all the help that we were able to get, because 
We explained the situation, explained why it was so important for our kids to be here and the dilemma we were in. And um, they finally, he, he basically took us around to everyone. We went to the supervisor. The supervisor was not helpful at all. He basically was saying, it's the rules, it's the rules. And I'm thinking to myself, we know it's the rule. If it wasn't a rule, we wouldn't be here. But we're explaining that we're already here in South Africa. It's not like we are sending our children to someone else, you know, outside of the country. We are basically bringing our children to us. And um, he was just so adamant. I mean, sometimes you just need to use common sense because in this situation, Luke is 17 years old, almost 18, of course, and he uh he can speak for himself he's with his sister he, we are already here in south africa we show him every documentation that we had uh, but we just didn't have a birth certificate and the u.s government doesn't have a an electronic version of your birth certificate so uh because it's a private document so they did not have anything that they could present to air france to say that we were his parents right and so uh finally we, had, we, went, we went to the supervisor, the supervisor called the director, the director said no. All this time, me and my husband, we are talking about, we cannot take no for an answer. Whatever they say, we're just going to reject it and keep on pleading our case. And that's exactly what we did. And so every time they say no, we say no, Why, who else can we speak to? So we went all the way to the director. The director said no. So they said, it's not our responsibility. It's Efrance's responsibility. So you have to go to them. So we, finally, Richard takes us to Efrance. And Efrance says, There's nothing we can do. They're going to find us. They need to give us something that says it's it's okay for him to be he will be uh, he will be um uh, allowed to he will be cleared to enter the country and so i'm thinking to myself nobody wants to take responsibility here but we are keeping i mean i was really frantic i was a little, crying a little bit and because we were just so sad with the whole thing because we had planned this trip for a long time and so this I was just is like, absolute disaster i did not expect this but this is what's happening so then uh, finally, this uh, girl from France, she was an absolute angel. She really understood as a mom that, you know, like, uh, because she has teenagers as well. So she understood as a mom. Her name is uh, um, Charlene. She completely understood. I mean, at first she wasn't, you know, like, you know, there was nothing she could do. She told us that there was nothing she could do. But I think she finally decided, okay, let me see what else I can do. And then... And she called the director, explained the situation. She said, they're sitting here in my office. They are here, blah, blah, blah. She really pleaded our case. And the same director who said no, um, uh, decided that he could try and see what else he could do. So he calls the American, I think, embassy. And he works with them. They finally, uh, they ask for our documents. And she scans them, sends them to them. And they finally agreed to uh, let the kids in so we were absolutely elated i mean i was just like you know crying because i'm thinking to myself this could have been a disaster not only because we had spent so much money planning and making this vacation a memorable one uh we have our parents here who haven't seen the kids and for us that would have been really like um and like a very sad thing for them not to see and our parents traveled all the way from the village um to come and see them and they are you know like not young people so it's an inconvenience but this is something we had to do because we wanted to spend christmas in cape town but anyway so that's resolved but here's the thing i've been calling the kids, they're still in France, they haven't boarded the plane. We don't know exactly what time the plane is boarding, but they haven't responded to any of our WhatsApp calls. And I'm going to try and see if I can call direct. I think they have their phone switched off because of battery. But now I'm worried because I don't know exactly what time they are going to be, you know, like they're going to get here. And uh, our parents are here. Hopefully we all get to uh, welcome them at the airport, which is going to be wonderful. But I cannot stand not knowing what's going on because 
these kids like uh, they don't understand the serious I mean they do understand the seriousness of it but I think they're having issues with charging and all of that but I'm just crossing my fingers until they land here but anyway um, so now we're going to go to a beach on the other side again just look around because some of these areas we've always heard about them never went to them and this is one of the areas that we never actually went so we're gonna go and 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 do that and uh hopefully we can you know see something we like we would love to have property in south africa so that we can come and we don't have to be booking places because it was an absolute nightmare to book a place in december in south africa it is very popular if you are planning to come to visit to uh south africa in december please plan before june okay uh, in advance because and that's when at least you can be able to book things it's not that things will be cheaper because it doesn't matter what time you book how early you things book. are gonna cost you the same regardless because they have pixies in and they charge pixies in uh, uh, prices but at least you'll have a chance to get a an, an accommodation that you want we had to settle a lot of times because we couldn't get what we wanted um so but anyway that's my advice but i hope i didn't go too long but that was a big 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 huge international problem u.s embassy uh south african consulate air france um the airport everyone the people who helped us along people giving us phones and all of that making it happen so i'm so thankful right now and i hope the kids learn here tonight and so guess what he calls us and he says mom and he starts you know like uh rambling and not really saying anything and so i kind of lost it at that point because i'm thinking there must be something so i said look just tell me what's going on 